Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content, you can get early access to my podcast, and you can also find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. This lady is known as one of the most powerful voices in Latin and Spanish music. Her tone, her tone already. That flip into head voice, it's full, full chord closure. It's beautiful and relaxed and she just has this warmth that's so robust, her voice, and that lovely vibrato. Uh. Really open at the back of that head voice. It's so interesting because her head voice almost has this operatic quality, that spaciousness, that low larynx that gives her the warmth in her tone. And then when she gets down to the bottom of her range, it's got that kind of punchy pop, Bond esque sort of style. Mm. I love how she's moving through the bows. Low as well. It's really interesting because she's got that heavy, heavy low range. And then actually it's surprisingly light when she gets into her belt up there, but she's got that forward placement, that light forward placement, which is gives it that clarity and another texture. I really enjoy the, her head voice, that opera texture, that punchy forward place, mid range, mixed belt, and then her heavy lower range. Oh, it's so dramatic. <laughs> I'm powerful. Okay, so what she's done really well is she's keeping it nice and strong and then that diminuendo back, that from loud to quiet. Now, at this area of your voice, it's really, really tricky to move between a lighter place and a heavier place. So she's got that kind of full mix and to bring it back into that lighter, breathy place is actually really difficult. Go try it at home. Like a... It's so hard to do without going under the note and she is just doing it beautifully. (laughs) It kind of reminds me of Muse. the minor chord. You know what song reminds me of? You get a 
the life of me. You know that Muse song? Mm, very cool. So she decided she wanted to be a singer at four years old. And at 14, she went to music school to learn to sing. And she was also presented a recorder to learn to write songs with. I think that's the most mad thing ever because recorders are horrible sounding instruments. Um, You'd think, you know, a little keyboard or something. (laughs) Anyway, I I guess every kid gets to play the recorder at some point. I'm glad she's not doing it anymore. She's so fierce. Place There's also something quite Phantom of the Opera about it. I'm going between genres. And disco. I love the textures. <laughs> oh my god. I have to say, what was that? I mean, jeezy peeps, that was a G sharp. Man. And it was just a beautiful real strong mix that slide up to it aided her a little bit and then her slide down but it gave it that feeling of like angst and you don't expect it because her voice is so heavy you think she's just gonna stay there i was hoping that would happen it's everything i wanted and more Oh gosh, she was so sad at the end. I want to clap her, but I feel sad for her. Oh, she's smiling. (laughs) She was great. Man, I just love Latin music. The more I hear, the more I love it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.